welcome to it's Rafiq. in previous video i have already explained programming exercise question number a and b here i am going to explain question number c d and e let's come to question number c write a c program to display the following pattern which is at first one one time then one two time third line one three time and so on so let's do the program first we'll declare a variable integer type and name i now we are going to use for loop for i equal here 1 i less than equal to 1 then i plus plus and within inside the loop we'll write printf statement printf and here just will write one then semicolon will come out from the loop and here we'll write another printf statement and here we'll write slash n for new line now semicolon after that we'll write here return zero now let's run the program uh, when we'll run the program we'll see only one one time because I have done only for the first line for the next four lines we have to do the we have to repeat for loop again four times so you can see here just one one time now we are not going to write it again we'll go to copy paste just select this part then control C copy then paste paste now the second loop will make it two third loop will make it three two more time we need here we'll make it four and at last we'll make it five now let's run So you can see here it's one first one time then two time at the last it five times so this way we can do the question number c you can see the command here or i'll copy the command in notepad from there you can see it nicely So this is the code for loop will repeat here five times in the next chapter we'll learn how we can do it by using just one time only by using nested loop but here as the nested loop concept is not there so we are just uh, uh, repeating the for loop five times so this is the program now let's come to the next program here we have to display instead of 1 in the first line 5 second line 5 4 and so on so let's do the program same we'll need one variable int i now we are going to use for loop for we have to display 5 first that's why we will write here i equal 5 and we'll have to go till just here i have to display one time only so we'll write here i greater than 4 then here we'll write i plus plus within the loop body we'll write printf statement and here we'll write percent d and the location is i now we'll come out from the loop here we'll write printf statement and here we'll add slash n for new line now let's run the program and see what comes oops something is wrong
we have to give here i minus minus not plus plus otherwise the value of i will be never come to 4 it will be always like 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it will be i minus minus so you can see here the output only 5 now we'll copy this part and paste it one more time then see what happened now here we'll make it 3 instead of 4 means at first it will go to 5 then minus 1 it will be 3 minus 1 4 it will compare whether it is greater than 3 or not it will be greater it will again display 4 after that when 3 is not greater than 3 the loop will exit means we'll see the second line 5 and 4 let's run the program so here you can see 5 and 4 now if we remove the slash end part what happens see suppose I am removing the printf statement from outside the loop now you see the output all the numbers came together so that's why we need the printf statement here so we are going to write for loop again three more times here we'll make it two here we'll make it one and at the last it will make it zero while i greater than zero now let's run the program so you can see the output as same as the book so this way you can solve question number b from you can write the command from here and remember this part part will be repeat five times at first the condition will be i greater than 4 then greater than 3 and it will go on like that and in the last loop after the last loop you will add return 0 then break it close so this is the program for number d now we'll move to question number e now see in question number d at the first line only we have to display five numbers and and second number we have to display four numbers and it will go so on so how we'll do it just we can do little bit modification in this program and we can do so let's do the program first we'll need a variable i so we'll keep it now we need for loop four here we'll write i equal five then i greater than zero after that i minus minus now inside the loop we will write printf statement print f and here we will write percent d and the location is i now semicolon and will come out from the loop here we will use one printf statement and in printf statement it's slash n now let's run we'll see the first line 5 4 3 2 1 so you can see 5 4 3 2 1 to get the second line we'll copy the program from 4 to printf slash n and we'll paste it and in the second condition we'll make it 1 instead of 0 now we'll see we'll get two lines so this two line 5 4 3 2 1 next line is 5 4 3 2 same way we'll again paste it third time here we'll make it 2 then one more time here we'll make it 3 and one more time because we need total five times here we'll make it four and the last line after printf statement we are going to add return zero because to end any c program which type is integer we need return zero so let's run it So the output is this way, 
5, 4, 3, 2, 1, then 5, 4, 3, 2, 5, 4, 3, 5, 4, and 5. So this way you can do question number E. I hope you have understood the programs. Again, I am showing you from the beginning. So from here, the command. And if you want PDF copy of the code, you can write in comment section. I'll share it. Try the command in online compiler or in your computer and check the output. Change the number and see the difference between the output. Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then take care and bye.